Keeper. Ready? <laughs> Keeper. Ready? Tweet! <laughs> Welcome back to Attic Antics. <laughs> the, this is the show where we get into an attic, talk about antics. This episode, climate change. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> Today, I'm joined with Dean Batutis. Hello. Celia, whatever her last name is. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Riley Mendoza. Hello. Yeah. And Euros. Camera King. Alright, fellas. Um to paint a picture, we're posted up eating some Wendy's. Celia got a, a frosty for the price of one dollar and forty nine cents, even though they advertise it as ninety nine cent frosties. Which is absurd. But it was still some good ice cream. And I enjoyed it. I had a bite. And Riley brought me poke. And I ate it. And it was tasty. And now she's drawing on herself with Sharpie. Because she has... <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> she drew the word. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> because she's funny. Mm -hmm. Because girls are funny and smart and funny. Yes, girls can be Indeed. funny too. <laughs> yes, girls can be funny. I can't tell if this is sarcasm or not. No, this is legitimate. Okay. Girls are funny and smart. <laughs> it's just, it's just, I can't tell. Just, tell. It's just a fact of the matter. <laughs> He's like smiling, but like has a deep voice, and then like it's raising. I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, September twentieth. 2019, Riley, stop clicking your goddamn pen and looking through my wallet. No, you can't have my money. I'm not trying to take your money. Okay, well, guys, the Swede came to us from <laughs> heaven and blessed us with her knowledge and leadership activism skills. Heed the Swede. <laughs> Heed the Swede. She took to Washington, D.C. today, marched up to that damn White House, that damn Capitol building, and said, hey, you guys need to stop acting like children because you're acting like children. <laughs> so the children are going to act like adults and actually get, try to get something done for a change. So all the children yeah. from Who Sydney, <laughs> from, from New York, from L.A., yeah. from San Francisco, from London they did it. I don't know. Germany. Let me, Germany. Germany did it. Oh. Probably Sweden did it. If the Swede is like, Sweets. no, no, man. I'm A whole lot of cities. I'm not gonna go into detail. Bill Skarsgård, the it dude. Yeah. He's a big climate change activist. And Who? He's Swedish. Bill Skarsgård. I was talking to you about him. He's the clown. He's Pennywise, and he's in that show that I watch. Oh yeah, Pennywise. Yep. Yeah, that movie sucked. <laughs> well, we were supposed to see it today. Oh, so bad. Don't see it. Is it I, was just weird. I want oh, it was I okay. It. It was okay, let me let me give you my in-depth review. Okay. Tangent. Climate change. <laughs> it was so bad due to the fact that the whole movie. Okay, I like Bill Hader. It wasn't. That yeah. Bad. Shh, Wait, you didn't I think like, you were it one. I am talking, woman. Two. Two. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Bill Hader, you can give your opinion after I share my opinion. Okay. Bill Hader and like how they tied it back into the kids and like how they were all posted up at whatever at um uh what the hell is their town called whatever the spooky town <laughs> they 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 all went back they all like apparently 30 years 27 years had gone by and they had all like lived their lives and then they go back to Spooky Town because one guy who stayed there who never forgot about Spooky Town because apparently all the people that left Spooky Town forgot about Spooky Town and they're like, wait a minute, we fought a clown 27 years ago? What? And then they get back to the town and they're like, oh yeah, that was a thing. And now they have to fight the clown again because he's back and he's terrorizing them again and he's like, ah, spooky. But basically, he's not really terrorizing them. All he does is he just makes like disgusting, grotesque creatures like haunt them and like like people like does he just trick? He just fucks with them. The whole movie is just about Pennywise effing with their heads. Damn. It doesn't f with our heads as the audience because we know what's happening the whole time and it's insanely predictable. But which is which was my issue. Like, 
the whole, for like an hour and 15 minutes in the movie, Riley, they go... They go, I, I'm sorry if you guys... <laughs> I mean, we haven't seen <laughs> if you guys, it. <laughs> if you guys wanted to see it, I'm kind of spoiling the whole movie. Do you want me to stop? No, you can go ahead. Dean, you want me to stop? That's interesting. Keep going. Okay. Well, basically, yeah, I'm just giving you the spark notes. Like, if okay, you... Like, the, spark notes. This is like, the, it, the, the, my explanation does nothing for the actual visuals that the movie exactly. gives you. If you guys like disgusting bugs crawling out of faces and just like weird, freaky, tit-sagging grandmas that are, like, giant that chase you, and, like, a vi- and just, like, Pennywise, just, like, his, like, creepy clown face, just, like, and, like, okay, the first one was good just because it focused more on Pennywise abducting children. This one was, like, hi, my name's Pennywise, and, like, I like making creepy monsters, and it was, like, okay, Pennywise, you're supposed to be the creepy monster, you're the one that we're supposed to be scared of because of your crazy ass clown and like and like you're horrifying like you by yourself and how you yeah. run is just a freaky thing the first one i liked a lot better it was a better thriller it actually had me like going the, the second one i was like i was watching it through my hands of most of the time just because i didn't want to look at that disgusting imagery it was like throwing in my face i was just like like i don't want to watch this like i don't want to like this is not appealing to me like i don't enjoy being grossed out, paying twelve dollars right. to be grossed out, like that's just not something enjoyable for me. Riley would do, and and just the plot was so okay. basic, and it was just like, oh, we gotta defeat the clown. I wonder if we're gonna defeat the clown, and then like they fight the clown, and then like they beat the clown, like like what? Sick. Yeah. Shut up. Crazy, right? Like yeah, I never saw that coming. No, I wouldn't. Like I never, I've never was like. I wouldn't have been able to. Oh my god, that. it was crazy. So Riley, what do you think? Um, I didn't mind it. <laughs> I was okay, really why didn't you mind it? Explain to me why you didn't mind it. If you didn't mind it, so you're not like you don't like it, you don't love it, you don't hate it. I didn't hate it. I you don't like horror movies, and I do, so I think that's kind of. I I, I love thrillers. And it like a horror movie. Babe, we need to watch Aliens. You've never seen Aliens. I've never seen or Alien Alien, because Aliens is stupid. I've heard. I listened to Joe Rogan and Kid Cudi talk about it for like. 30 minutes <laughs> and they were just talking about horror movies and then they, because Walking Dead so good like it's not horror but there's some spooky aspects sure yeah. there's some spooky zombie jump scares you know like is that not the whole point of the show I've never seen it but like is that not the whole point oh Celia it's on Netflix what are you doing no it's not yeah it is no way yep you should watch that seasons 1 through 3 are fire as hell and then it starts going downhill. Wait, but is the whole premise of the show not to be like zombies jump out and scare the fuck out of people? And then no, no, it's it's like a soap opera. No way. It's like zombie soap opera. <laughs> like I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like through the they really went deep into the soap opera aspect in like the last season before they died, mm-hmm. and then Rick was like, "Have you guys? I'm done with this stupid ass show. Your writers suck." But the one they actually focus on the comic lore and like the actual like. We have to, like, survive the zombie apocalypse. Rather than, like, oh my god. Uh, yeah. That made no sense, but to me, it painted the picture of the fifth, seventh season of Walking Dead. Perfect. Um, but, yeah, it's it sucked. But, what, um, it, it sucked. Seasons one through four of Walking Dead are fire. You should watch them. One through four or one through three? I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I've watched that crap. But it was a fire TV show. Seriously. Okay. And, Dean, did you ever watch the Telltale game? No. Oh, I watched PewDiePie play it. <laughs> it was fire as hell. When I was, like, 12, I watched PewDiePie play the Telltale game. Oh, my God. Telltale makes some fire video games. Mm. Like, some really good video games. You know, for those that don't understand what I'm talking about, Telltale is a video game developer that make... Um, Video games off of a lot of different franchises of, like, movies and shows. And, like, they did one off, like, Minecraft. They did one off, like, um, like a, like a, um, what the hell was it? Like a, like I swear a, I've played one. But like a, like a, like a, like a, oh, what the hell? It's like a fairy tale. Like, it was, like, in a fairy tale world. And, like, you're, like, a detective. And, like, there's been, like, some crazy murders. And, like, you have to, like, solve the mystery. But your choices, basically the whole theme of Telltale is that your choices affect the outcome of the game. So you, mm. you're in that moment making choices, which I love. 
I love it so much. It's so much fun. I, I've played, like, two games. I've played two of their games. So it's just episodes. It's just episodes. Yeah, except, I was about to ask. I was like, shut up. <laughs> shut up with your stupid episodes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Honey, I'm pregnant. What should I do? Tell her to keep it. Tell her to get rid of it. Oh, what a crazy, what a crazy game. Ah, no. The Walking Dead game was so brilliant. It was so good. And there was action, and they, they combined action elements to just a beautiful world. of and It puts you in it because you have to make the decisions. You're not just like... You're not, like, on a campaign just getting taken through this world, you know? Like, how they want you, how it's already set up. You choose your world. Or you you choose how you want your character to be. You, like... Oh. You know how in Red Dead 2, Dean, you had, you had like, if you did nice stuff as, uh... What's his face? Never played it. Oh, god damn it. Never mind. I'll stop talking. Sorry. But it's, like, your honor level. Useful. It's, like, your honor level. You could be nice or you could be a dick. And, yeah. like... Like, it, it doesn't matter because it's a video game, but, like, it matters because, like... You're investing all this time. Yeah, know? into the video. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was 11 minutes about horror movies and... Horror. Oh, shit. We were talking about climate change. Righto. So, guys. Um, I'll put a disclaimer at the beginning to skip to a minute 12 to actually talk about climate change. <laughs> but, um... I'm gonna go um, get some water. Some water? Some weirder, mm -hmm. and you guys discuss amongst yourselves. All right. Because I am talking too much. You wanna lead this Goodbye. Podcast? Sure. Okay, I'm ready to hear you lead the Just podcast. talk about your experience during uh, the strike, we'll why you about. individually striked, and whatever the hell else you want to talk about. How long about. is it going to take for him to get water? <laughs> it's going to be like a couple minutes. You <laughs> stop. Go. So basically, I was wondering what you guys expected like going, going into it. it. Yeah, going into oh, it. I'm not here. I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> Riley. Let's start us off. What was the question? What did you expect going into it? Like being like is it gonna be like a hell of people or like Um <laughs> There are more people than I thought there were going to be. There were a lot of people. Can we talk about the, the fact that we saw so many middle schoolers and, like, kids, kids. with their parents right. and stuff like that? I did not expect that. And a lot of teachers is. with, like, classes of students. Yeah. yeah. That was crazy. Damn, well, our they had, like, field trips. That. Yeah, that's crazy. I think that's... They're probably from San Francisco, though. We saw yeah. a teacher group with her kids come from our school. Well, not our school, but, like, our area. Dang. From our, remember from the West Dublin station? There was a huge group of them. Yeah, it was a huge group of students and a teacher that came by with like a bunch of signs. Oh, oh. That yeah, that was, was like bigger kids though. Yeah. I don't know, not like, like how not they were. There were a lot of kids. There were, and that's hecka cool. With like that's pretty sick. Were, like, why are kids fighting this fight? Like you never think about yeah. it. Like we don't really have the choice to like be in government, but like we're showing. How much we care about it through like occupying the streets. So mm -hmm. I'm like thinking about it too. Like it got me thinking about how I saw the government when I was that age, and it's like I didn't even know who our president was until like fourth, maybe fifth grade. That's and true. And these kids are out here being like protesting and walking and like so educated and like oh my god, it's freaking it's nuts. It's crazy. Like if they care about it this much at the age that they're at right now, when they're our age, they'll be like experts literally yeah like Jesus. experts and it doesn't take much to like understand like why it's bad though yeah but it's, it's just like, like they seems they seem to have so much knowledge for it it's just like really refreshing because it's like i was not like that when i was however old yeah said individuals are. i think it kind of has to do with like the area you grow up in too mm -hmm. like san francisco there's protests everywhere all the time that's true people are probably talk about it more in san francisco Mm, yeah, it was crazy. There were so many people, and like those giant like pillars. Oh yeah, they had like um, what was it like the CEO CEOs. of Shell? Those are cool. Yeah, they had like the huge pillared up, like they had them completely blown up, like you would think the cardboard cut out of someone, but then think like five times bigger than that. Yeah, and then there's a human. Though. Yeah, like to make them like 
I don't know. That shit was crazy. It was, it was like just, ten feet tall. Just to make yeah. sure like the bottom crazy. didn't blow Does away. Does anybody want cake? We have pumpkin cake. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay, thank you. No cake, no cake, no, no cake. cake. Okay, just me for cake, I guess. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Alright. Oh, spicy. Like good. Sorry. Spicy. <laughs> that would be weird if pumpkin cake was spicy. For some people I'm sure it's spicy, like ah it's hot. What else have they had that's like so salt? so bland that, <laughs> that pumpkins taste salty? Salty. I mean, it's so hot. <laughs> spicy. But salt is hot. We can agree that salt is spicy. Spices. <laughs> salt is the spiciest spice. Are you guys spice. sensitive to spice? No. No. Oh, not salt. <laughs> <laughs> not that way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are we talking about? Climate so change. Get derailed. Why oh. Is there a Nemo step? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Dude, there's a Nemo. Look around. It's the yeah. This is crazy. Can we just talk about Cameron's? Why is there a rocking horse under? Can you talk a deck? about the fact that I'm like not even that tall and I can't stand anywhere in this attic. He <laughs> is six foot one, six foot two on a good day and cannot stand yeah. out hitting his head or at least arching his neck in. Yes. To. <clears throat> that's crazy. <laughs> there's a pile of hooks over here. Hooks? I mean, uh, clothespins <laughs> on the ground. Um, there's an open Nutella Nutella and go with the <laughs> wrapper Never ripped off, <laughs> and it is still full. Oh, no. I oh, no, we just had cereal up here too, and just started eating. Yeah, I just had pops, and I was like, anyone care for a pop? He didn't open the bag though. He just took it out of the box. <laughs> so random. That's an interesting attic. This is how I expected attic to look though. Like, it's like someone's customized it, but it's also, like, got a bunch of stuff that's, like, childhood-based. Yeah, and, like... Like, I fully expected stuff. to see baby photos or, like, random trophies, <laughs> or, like, drawings. It's lived up to the expectation of what I figured an attic would be. This isn't his room, is it? No, his room is down there. No, this okay. is just, like... And a wanted poster. Right. Wild, wild, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sorry, my sister's a loud ass biatch. Wow. Um, she's so loud. It's just a fact of nature. Oh my god. Um, I'm back with cake for so. myself. Because no one likes cake, I guess. <laughs> losers. Sorry, just a loser, I guess. Idiot losers. <laughs> Cakeless losers. Ain't got no cake. Okay, guys, um, so what did we talk about? We got distracted, but we were talking about, um, what we saw. Oh, the, yeah. All those, like, little kids. There were a lot of young elementary school kids. Their, their signs were like, why, why do I have to leave school for this? Like, why is this a thing I have to do? Oh, what was our favorite sign? Mmm. I took pictures of some good ones. Yeah, um, here I want to save some of them. I have oh. like that, that one where it's like, uh, what was it? The vagina one was pretty good. Ooh, that was Which one was one. that one? Uh, white men. Oh wait, what if vaginas and white? Er, fuck. <laughs> what if vaginas and climate? And climate and, yeah. And it's like white men are too afraid to talk about them. <laughs> um, this one was good. <laughs> Act now. Real ass bitch, give a fuck about the planet. <laughs> <laughs> the one about porn about me, the one where it's like, I'm too young to watch porn, but I'm old enough to watch our planet, planet get fucked. fucked. <laughs> that was Ooh, a good, good one. one. Ooh, that was some mm. That was a good one. Like vault. Some tea. This was a lot of tea. Some of the signs were like, super dumb. Like, I, I saw one that said, Trump is a hoax. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I think you're missing the point here. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Uh, I liked the one where it was like, denial is not a policy. Like, mm -hmm. my policy on climate That's change true. is denial. Like, no, uh, it's yeah, not. I'm, it's just I'm that just you don't want to give your money to something that you don't think is worthwhile, even though, like, you don't think it's worthwhile because, like, it's not profiting you and you're going to die before the results actually affect us. That's true. That's what I find so ridiculous about it. The lack of, uh, the lack of legislation that is put in place. Like, the fact that Trump pulled out of the Paris deal is absolutely absurd. 
educate those who don't know what the Paris deal is. It was just this like deal where all the countries were like, "Hey guys, um, this is like gonna be the rule for output of uh, carbon emissions for factories." Oh yeah. And if you do more than this, like, you get fined, mm -hmm. and that's bad. You should not do that. Yeah. Cause it's killing our planet. And Trump's like, nah, fuck that, <laughs> nah. He's like, fuck all that shit. I'm trying to make my paper. <laughs> Bro, people that think that the country is supposed to be a business, like, they're just ignorant. They're so ignorant. That's why so many people voted for him, though. That, so no, sad? actually, no, people seriously. Like, he's not part of government. Like he that was straight like brainwashed. But then like again, they he literally brainwashed people into thinking that, bro. That's so sad. Even though he's been involved in government since literally the late '80s, because he tried running for president. And he he's tried to run so many times. It's why this like this time did it actually work? Because so many people fell for his fucking propaganda. Of Business. But why didn't they? Why didn't he have this propaganda? Because before? there wasn't a black president before, and racists didn't feel like they should like stand out uh, and be like, "Yo, I didn't fuck with a black president. Let me choose the complete opposite yeah, side of the bro. spectrum and choose a white fucking dumbass. white fucking nationalist." <laughs> <laughs> oh God, though, that that's that is how it be. I think you have a good point there. Yeah. He's like he's like, guys, I ain't fucking with this America. We need to go make America great again. <laughs> yeah, I no blacks in the White House. <laughs> Not my America. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my Fuck, god. Dude. So you're right. That's a good point, Celia. Definitely. That's like the only reason that you can logically think about it. Fuck. You know? Yeah. It's sad. I don't want to think about that, though. Yeah. Um, the thing is, it's not just him. It's Congress. Mm -hmm. It's Congress as a whole. It's the, the lack of... They're children. You know why I don't fucking pay attention to politics? It's because nothing gets done. Mm -hmm. I don't like to watch the news and like pay attention to all these political like debate, like um, de decisions, mm -hmm. because there are no actual decisions. Anything that gets compromised on is because. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, let me let me look this up just so I, I'm aware. I'm well aware. I believe Republicans control the Senate yeah, and right. Democrats control the House. Yes. So, but the way our government is set up, you have to have both to make a yeah. law thing. So it's like, yeah, we can't do anything. Exactly. We can't do anything on either side. We're literally at a stalemate yeah. of just nothing. Nothing gets done. Like, what really ever got done when both parties... That's never been... It's never been a thing. Yeah. When one party is in... Is in, um... Power. Like how the Republicans were. Mm -hmm. In the first, uh... Half of Trump's presidency. They... They went fucking hard. They, they were like... Everything Obama has done, let's get rid of it. <laughs> let's, let's just fuck it up, like, right? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, let's destroy everything. And they did. Like, yeah. there's nothing that the Democrats could do. Yeah. They just did it. Because America was like, fuck this. This Obama guy thinks he's so slick trying to give everybody affordable health care. <laughs> you get the fuck out of here with that shit. I want my job back. <laughs> Wait, but you still have a job. Shut up. <laughs> it's back, so. It's fucking so bad. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> but, it's pretty accurate. Well, <clears throat> my experience with this strike... I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed myself. I thought it was very cool to be part of something bigger than yourself. Yeah. Rather, are you having fun twiddling your sharpie over there? Yeah. You want to talk? Huh? You want to talk? You're talking. I don't want to talk. Uh, uh, yeah. What's up? <laughs> you were just out in the middle of, call in the of your statement. But then your thumbs twiddling distracted me. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. No, I don't want you to talk. Okay. Um, what do you want me to talk about? The strike? Yeah. This is how it made you feel. As an American. Uh, as an American? Well, how else would it make you feel? As an 
Indian? Like, mm. what? No. <laughs> we're not in India, we're in America. Okay. You're an American. Silly. <laughs> 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 the weirdest thing I've ever heard you say <laughs> as an American. How else? An Indian? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like she was like, questioned it, like I was like, no, as an American, like, like does that like, like change that's, something? That's a weird point like, of view. Yeah, exactly. From. That's, everyone's that's, like, that's everyone's point of view. That's here. Exactly. I'm saying, as an American, how did it make you feel? Um, you're speaking for all Americans right now, right? No, no, you're just speaking from your perspective as an American. Why wouldn't you speak as like a climate justice activist? Why would you speak as? An well, American? you're a climate justice activist, but also an American. Okay. Um. I thought it was really empowering that so many people, like, were able to be in one spot and, like, have the same belief and mm. want to fit for something. Uh, like, there were, like, easily, like, 40,000 people there. Yeah. There was a lot more people than I, I anticipated. Think plus. Yeah. How many did you anticipate? How big did you think this was going to be? I had heard that, like, like, I knew it was a big deal. And I was happy to think it's that, like, worldwide. it would be, yeah. It'd Pitbull. Be Mr. Bigger. Worldwide was there. No way. I'm kidding. I know not ours, but like at one of the rallies, I've been sick. But like, I anticipated, I knew it would be bigger than what I expected, but not as big as what I saw. Mm -hmm. Like we could barely walk at some points. It was crazy how crowded it was. It was nuts. I felt like it was rolling loud, except no one was moshing. I saw one mosh. No, it was one mosh. People got hype. People got hella hype and started jumping around and shit. People got on top of buses. Oh, it was awesome. They were, like, uh, chanting on top of buses. I felt part of something bigger than myself. It was really cool. Mm. I felt like... It's, like, not enough, though. Like, like I said to Riley well, halfway, like, we were almost done with it. I was like... Alright, so, same time next week for, like, black rights, right? <laughs> But, like, yeah. that's yeah. not going to be a thing. Because not enough people are, like, passionate about that. But seeing this many people passionate about that, we should do more every day. Like, if, every, if that many people were passionate enough to skip school and literally spend, like, four hours of their day just marching through San Francisco and any other city that they're in, then why, why, like, if, if all those people's voices are being heard, for, like, this was so televised, so televised, we saw all these helicopters televised and everything, if this is a thing that is mainstream, that is a lot of people doing it, then why can't the government catch on that it's a it's a thing that needs to be dealt with. <laughs> Dean, you're like <laughs> you're like you're like my cat. I'm not kidding. They want underneath the poster. Dean saw a, a moth flying around the light bulb in the attic because it's nine seventeen and bugs come out at dark and they go to light. And now it's <laughs> fooling around my room. <laughs> Stop. Uh, ha, ha, ha. It's being crazy. Dude, I can't wait. I'm gonna get a Sony camera, and we are going to, um, we're gonna put it right there on that windowsill, and while attic antics are happening, I'm gonna film it. And then I'm gonna upload the, the video to YouTube. That's smart. So I'm gonna go like, <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. Just leave it alone, it'll stay by the light. Okay. God, for real, Dean, why are you fucking with it? Because it's the owl. Because it's what? I don't know. Because it's the owl, no? Because it's the owl, though. <laughs> it's bug. It fly. I need to hit it. <laughs> You're like, literally, like, that's a cat mindset. Uh -huh. You just became a cat. And, like, now your eyes are following it. Like, Stop what? looking at it. <laughs> just, like... <laughs> Can't I look at a bug? <laughs> Oh, jeez, please. Should I turn the light off and just go in the dark? Oh my god, it's like pelting itself against things. Does it want to die? Yeah, bugs are pretty stupid. Why are bugs so stupid but so good at reproducing? <laughs> Evolution, man. It doesn't take very much to reproduce. For us, it takes nine whole months. And a whole lot of boning. 
It doesn't take a lot of brain cells. Though. You're no, right. You it's like in our genetics. Like you, could, you could be like the dumbest person on earth and still be able to reproduce. Like you probably shouldn't. More of you. Yeah, exactly. But like, <laughs> yo, you can. And like, your whole body is telling you to like, do that. It's like, yo. It's the whole yo, evolutionary purpose of you. Yo, reproduce. Do you think our whole purpose for being here is just to leave another person? Yeah, absolutely. What other purpose do you honestly have to be on here? Um, the human experience. Like, oh, it's like not an, to make you don't have like an <laughs> exact. You don't have an inherent purpose. All you can really do, like at the end of the day, the basic thing a human has to do is be able to reproduce. And like, find the love for another human being that you created, because that's like true love. Like we we try to find true love. And, like, trust. Mm -hmm. But, like, the truest of true love is when you're looking at your little baby that just gave you just gave birth to. And you it's just, just gave birth to? The, I know. Well, I mean, technically, when the mom's having the baby and the dad's in the room while it's being born, you know, like, they both gave birth to this thing. I mean, it only came out of one of them. The act of giving birth <laughs> is different from giving birth. I guess, know? yeah, that's the dad equally gave as much life as the woman did true. to the child. Yes. Therefore, they both gave birth. This moth is stupid. Why can't I just fly? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill the moth because you guys can't stop it's fucking looking at the so moth. Annoying. Oh my it god, so you guys are special. My eyes are like spotty yeah, from staring at the light. Oh my god. Alright, land. Don't kill it. I'm gonna kill it. Don't kill it. I'm gonna murder it. It's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit it out the window. Dude, Dean, okay. okay. You're gonna hit the light bulb. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no, don't hit the light bulb. It's so <laughs> Stop, fool. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm just... It's on, oh, the, it's on, the, it's on the window. It's on the, the left. Oh. <laughs> oh no. No, no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you fucking jacket. Stop. <laughs> okay, it landed. He's dead. It's no more. Poor bug. No, I don't want to look at it. in our lives because of the lamp uh, okay it's dead now <laughs> god damn it <laughs> I'm giving it a warrior's proper proper burial alright goodbye my sweet prince <laughs> goodbye <laughs> okay that was like five minutes of the thing we just did okay yeah Hey, you want to see something cute? This paper is my mom's chemistry homework. And my dad, in 1994, gave it to my mom. And he was like, good luck in chem. I'm with you in spirit. And drew a bunch of pictures. Aww. And I got to go hang it back up because it shouldn't be down. Hella epic. Okay, guys. Let's get back to business. What are we thinking about life? Uh, God, there's so much going on right now. Oh, my God. Alright. Next episode, we'll talk about... Policing. Oh, wait, where's my backpack? <laughs> oh, no, I don't have it. I don't <laughs> want to go back to the Next episode, we'll talk about police. Where's my backpack? Yeah. It's probably in your car. Mmm. <laughs>
So what was the like? Why why is there not going to be anything done about this this climate change strike? Like nothing is going to come out of this. Because the big CEOs don't care. They're right, like, they don't care because they don't have to do anything. Yeah. If you don't like, have to, if they don't have to do anything, they're not going to like voluntarily give up money for the environment. You know? You know why would they do that? Understand though is like why are people aren't more passionate about it. Like when people were asking people to join and like everyone was like so hesitant. Like you work in a company that's like obviously such scum, and then you're like hesitant to be a part of something that's like re- affects you regardless of like your class or race. Because of the like economy, man. I know, but it's like it's a global issue. Like it's like usually with like let's say like race issues, it per- it pertains to one race or like sexism, it pertains to yeah, one and gender. like espe- especially. I was talking about this another day. Uh, with school shootings, mm-hmm. like if a school shooting happens to you, you're much more likely to do something about it. Like or like somebody that is affected to, to you, like exactly. your friends, you're much more likely to do something. Like our parents, mm-hmm. if a school shooting happened to um, to Cal High, our parents would probably like try to do something about it much more than they are now. Mm-hmm. You know, it's yeah. just because of just apathy. You know, we're all apathetic just by nature. Like if it's not happening to us. Why do we do something about it? Like, we all have our own shit to deal with. Those people that were working at BlackRock that all, we were all chanting fuck you at, yeah. Yeah. they're not going to leave their job because in this economy, finding a job that pays uh, that yeah. much and, like, like it's hard, you know? It's a yeah. hard thing. Yeah. It's a they hard thing. probably worked hard for that job. They probably worked really hard for that job. They probably went to college, did their, did their stuff, learned how to live in life. Yeah, and like we we were just chanting, I like that straight up. It felt like ch- spitting on the Vietnam veterans. It like, felt kind of shitty. Like I, it's like in the sense of like you're protesting the company, but like you're screaming at employees. Have, yeah, like, you're screaming at like people with the fact that they're whatever they're like. Their company is like for, they 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 didn't choose it for their company to yeah. like fund these fossil fuel yeah. companies. Yeah. Like they're just doing their jobs. But, and, like, we just screamed fuck you for, like, five minutes of, like, average people yeah. <laughs> that, like, don't do anything. I mean, I guess you could be like, oh, well, if they really cared, they would just get a new job. But then so it's like, hard. you get yeah. a new job. Like, what? Like, you can't ask somebody to do that. Like, that's just fucked up. Yeah. I don't know, it's fucked up. The economy is fucked up. I think that if we give everybody universal basic income, it'll help everybody follow their dreams. And that is something that we should not live without. Like, everybody should have the equal opportunity for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Wait, and so the you believe in democratic socialism? Then? Bro, democratic socialism is lit. I key. Wow. Andrew Yang or Bernie all the way, baby. That's what I'm saying. I, I yeah, Bernie's lit. Bernie's a god. Bernie is a god. Like he just cares so much. He's, He's so old cares. and he cares so much about everyone. He has always cared. It's I love crazy. looking at the pictures of him getting like arrested for like putting his life on the line, putting yeah. his freedoms on the line. Cause he's just so angry at this bullshit country that we live in, and he wants to do something about it, but he's probably not gonna get the chance to do so, because fucking the Democratic Convention last year, fucking 2016, he should have fucking beat Trump, and we yeah. should be having a, a Bernie party right now. Yeah. But guess what? We're not doing that right now, are because we? Because of the fucking Democrats. The Democrats are a bunch of corrupt assholes, just like every other political organization. It's tea. It's tea. It's yeah. facts, though. It's fucking sucks. Yeah. Fucking sucks. I wish. Ugh, it's so, it's so bullshit. This was the only, the, the extent. Do your, do your families have, like, different, dif- differentiate, like, if you're at, like, Thanksgiving. Do your families have, like, differentiating political views? No. Everyone, because we come from like a minority, so everyone just wants the stuff for the said minority. Okay. It's What's your minority? Like, uh, well, we're North African, but like Arab and then like Muslim also. Are you actually? Yeah. That's hella cool. A quirky, diverse chick. Get you one. <laughs> That's hella cool. What? What race is on? Wait. What part of Africa? Algeria. So Algeria. So North Africa. Okay. Mm-hmm. So your grandparents are from there, or what? Whole families from there. Like your mom and dad? Yeah. Straight up? Yeah, they immigrated here, like on a green card. 
Oh, fuck. Yeah. When? Like, how long ago? Uh, when my mom turned 18, she won the green card lottery, so me and her. You won, she won a lottery? Yeah. The U.S. has a lottery. Uh, it's like in every <clears throat> country that wasn't considered a threat. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, seriously. So, like, if she didn't win that, she just, you'd, you'd just... I wouldn't, I wouldn't. You wouldn't be, you'd no, just no. be in Africa. Yeah. Do you have one chance to win that lottery when you turn 18? Well, it's not when you turn 18. You can sign up for it any time, but, like, it's, like, only, like... Mm, like 20 winners a year. So how rare was that that she got that? It's crazy. She moved the next day. Holy shit! So her whole life. Wow. Why'd she want to move to America? Algeria was like in a war zone, so. Fuck. Time to go. Time to go. I'm skedaddle. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. Fuck. That's crazy. I didn't know that. That's really cool, know. Celia. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. Silly Algeria. Why they got Why they gotta be so corrupt? <laughs> God damn it! That's all politics. Though. Why we gotta all be yeah. so corrupt? Sierra Leone. You guys ever read A Long Way Gone? Yeah. Riley, you read that? Mm, the book about the boy soldier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That book. That book was. That so wasn't a requirement. You read that? No. Did you read it in school? Yeah. Oh, I read it. I read it because my aunt. My studies. aunt. My aunt suggested it to me, and I was I like, it. "This looks." She was like. The imagery, yeah, the themes, yeah. the symbolism, yeah. like, mm -hmm. it's it's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. And the fact that this author, it's a biography, auto, mm -hmm. uh, autobiography, and this kid oh, is, yeah, like, still know. alive, like, advocating yeah. for this. That kid straight has PTSD. Like, when he was 12, the, um, he had he had two choices. Um, live yeah. in fear and with no money. And loses, he lost his home, didn't he? Yeah. Lost yeah. his home, lost his family. Because mm -hmm. um, was, it was some political group in Africa, straight pulled up on his house and just like killed everyone. And they were like, you're an able-bodied male. Join our army or we'll kill you. <laughs> and he's like, okay. So then those are his brothers now. Yeah. And they smoked Kush and snorted heroin and cocaine. No, it was a uh, bam bam. It was a yeah. mix of cocaine and gunpowder. Gun oh. And they they then he, he he they would do that before yeah. battle. And they gave him an AK and they're like, "Go kill people." And he's like, "I like he could have died so easy." And this kid, 12 years old, is now a war veteran. Yeah. And he went and he <clears throat> Very graphically described his experience of rehabilitation after the war. And it's just like, dude, why can't we do anything to help these countries? Like, would you? how much do you know about the political strifes of North Africa? Um, I know about Algeria. Uh, I like Algeria. Like, what, what's it, what um, I know, what is it, can you well, give us your... We had a bunch of your, protests earlier this year because we've had a... President in power, basically a president. Protests where, in the United States or protests? Yeah, protests everywhere. Okay. Um, where it was with a presidency in Algeria and probably most North African countries, even Arab countries, you vote someone in, they stay for life unless you can vote them out. And he's just been. Are you serious? Yeah. They, they can stay for life. There's no. So it's like a Supreme Court judge. Ex exactly, except not yeah. with the checks and balances that exactly. the U.S. has. Yeah. Like, you're just there. Yeah. They can't take you out. They, they could take you out, but no one wants to take him out because he has, like, so many... It's, like, not illegal to lobby in government. It's really fun. But it's also it sucks because everyone's poor in that country, but the government's so rich because we're an oil com we're an oil country. Damn. So. So their whole... Ec their main export is just main, oil? Yeah. We're a really big exporter of oil. Damn. So we suck. Don't distribute the wealth. We don't distribute the wealth to the Do you do you know the percentage of like the rarity that your mom got that that green card? Um, not particularly, but like very rare probably. Most women usually don't want it. Especially if it's like the first year that you can do it. It's probably very rare. Wow. Where's your dad from? Algeria too. Every every part. How'd he get out? One with my mom. I'm bring one person. Straight up? Yeah, straight up. Wow. It's fucking crazy. How old are they? 18. I already said that. Okay. My dad was 23 or something. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Do you know how they met? Um, high school when my mom's brother introduced them. That's hella cool. So, is your family still there? 
No, I, most of my dad's family is still there. Um, most of my mom's family also left. But she was the she's the youngest, but the first one to leave, and everyone just kind of followed her after that. Wow. Um, family visa, is that a thing? Mm, no. Some of them came here. You can throw um, green cards? They, two of the uh, people, my, two of my uncles got here on, like, some type of visa where they, like, contributed something to fucking society. I don't know. They're, like, smart enough to come in here. I don't know. Okay. I get that. Like that. Um, it's all about the dinero. Yeah. One of mine uh, illegally immigrated to Nicaragua. Now she's, like, part of the UN or some shit like that. Damn. Yeah, she like, does. She is an ambassador for e- women's rights in the UN. Nice. And the other one lives in Canada. She, she's part of the UN? Mm-hmm. How much you talk to her? A lot. You talk to her about the UN? Yeah. What's it like? Says it's sick. She wants me to do it, but, like, it's a really tedious process. It, it sounds tedious. Any... any any job where they actually give you a voice and power, or any influence, mm-hmm. sounds like you got to jump through a lot of hoops, especially if you're a woman. Probably. Especially if you're of color. Yeah. Especially if you're foreign. Sounds like a lot of tediousness. Probably. Sounds like nothing is handed to her. Probably. How did she get that position? What is her position in the UN? Ambassador of Nicaragua for women's rights. Are you fucking serious? Serious. That's so cool. What's your relation to her again? Sorry. My aunt. Your aunt. Aunt. Like, so she's your mother's, your your father's sister? My mother's sister. Mother's sister. Mm-hmm. Damn. What's it like there? You go there? To Nicaragua? Uh, to Algeria. Or, or Nicaragua. I don't know. Either of those countries. Not a lot to go to Nicaragua. Okay. They have, they have, like, a really bad political climate right now. Where, like, Nicaragua. Are getting, like, shot that's, that's South America, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's a no though. Algeria, I haven't been there since I was, like, 10. Okay. A show. So you probably don't remember much of that. No, I do. It's not oh, really? a great place to be, no. Not it's a great really, place really to be. It's a poor country. It's just really poor. Yeah. Just like a lot of like poverty. A lot like, of it, yeah. I mean, there's some nice of, areas, like, obviously, but like... There's, yeah. It's not great to see. Damn. That's tough. Well, that's daps for your mom for getting out. Good for her, cool. even though it was complete luck. Glad that you're here talking to us right now. Thank you. Rock on. Shit. So, if we have people like that, like your aunt, and all these people that are have a political stage that um, are pushing their agendas, mm-hmm. why, if we actually are proven to our, ourselves that there are 40,000 people just in our general vicinity that are passionate about this issue... Why has not why has why has no action been done? Like when you're an activist, how does action get get accomplished? That's what I always wonder too. Like when you're an activist, like you can activist uh, all of your heart out. Well, like when does something actually change because of it? Yeah. I guess you have to like really respond to a certain audience. You know what I mean? Like, respond like, to a certain audience. You know, like if you think about like Greta, let's say, mm-hmm. and like how big she's gotten. Like, yeah. you've seen the influence that she's been able to make in, let's say, like, other people in government following her and her ideals and, like, applauding her for, like, her initiative to attempt to, like, try and be something, even though there's... So how did she get her stage? Can you... Social media, probably, right? So... Isn't that, she, like, she got interviewed by a... News team and she's like, just like, yeah, I fucking pulled up here on a boat because fuck airplanes and their climate pollution. She's like, I rode a sailboat from Sweden That's to Queens. Good. And y'all can suck on that, alright? I I know what I'm about. Yeah. I know what I want the world to be about. I'm in the US because they're hella powerful. Y'all should do something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why not? So why are there more people like Greta? I don't know. Why aren't there more people like Because that? Of, the, of, the, of the lack of a can-do attitude. And society. Because society pushes us to just go through life, get a job, mm-hmm. go to college first, get a job, make money so you can live, and continue to make money so that you can live. Not much you can do with that. And then keep yeah. doing that. And in your spare time... Maybe activist a little bit. Or make more money. Huh? Spare time, make more money. 
Well, really I'm don't. saying society. Yeah, I know. But society, like, 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 really ever really push, like, activism? Like, you should be... Because active. activism doesn't pay. Exactly. Activism doesn't pay the bills. Exactly. Therefore, why not? Why doesn't it pay the bills? Why can't actual, like, change in life? Because there's so much shit wrong with the world. I talked to Lajali, and her perspective, due to what she sees and what she reads about, is that the world is a shitty place. Mm -hmm. Her parents are immigrants, and the world is just a shitty place. Yeah. Mom's from Chicago, had a shitty, like, did not have a great time growing up. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Yeah, and it's just like, it's just like, she thinks the world's a bad place. So, if we have people that we know the world's a bad place, why can't we just, like, do something? Like, why can't we change that? Why? I don't get it. I don't think people feel very accountable to, like, like, if I didn't cause it, why would I fix it, right? Ah, everyone has that mindset. It's not sad, though. It's so sad. No one's gonna fix it, then. Because the people that did cause it... They're gonna fucking die. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. But they're leaving. Not, not yeah. the fact that they caused it. That's so fucked up. We say that, but think about how, like, how, like, think about that from a comedic sense, okay? Think about this. The people that are in charge of all the laws, and including the laws regarding regulation of pollution... Don't have to care about the implications except for their children, who they don't even give a fuck about. Because they're like, <laughs> they just write it off as like, it's not real, like, there's no evidence it's gonna get this bad. It's gonna, it's, it's pretty bad, but it's not gonna get this bad. Like, that's their attitude. They're like, it's not gonna get this bad, so like, I don't have to do anything. I'm gonna be dead, my kid can figure it out. That's what um, Lajali said. This I, I, I'm thinking about it right now. Um, we don't make... Um, she talked about the Hunger Games. She mm -hmm. said, nothing is going to get done until it's right in our face. It's true. You know? Yeah. Like, until we have... We're, we're on a burn... We're like, it's like a car crash. It's like, when, when you see the car that is about to hit you, we don't steer out of the way until it's two seconds in front of us. You know? Yeah. Like, that's it. And then it's, it's going to be late. too late. Exactly. Like, we're going to hit the car. Like, it's, it's going too fast, you know? Mm hmm So, like, like, what the fuck? Yeah. No one really thinks about that, though. It's like, you hear... What is it? No one thinks about that. How long that? is it until it's, like, irreversible? Twelve years. That's what the number I've heard. Whores are going to start protesting and really getting into it, like, six months. Hmm? Before twelve years. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, What'd okay, now it's an issue. <laughs> okay, okay, now we but should But then really, you, like, think, you think, think about this. It'll probably, like, actually get accomplished in 12 years. Bro. Like, if, 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 if everyone... Okay, like, the, I, I talked about... Did you guys listen to the Lajali podcast? Listen to Bro, you gotta listen to the end. I talked... Did you hear me talk about Man Bear Pig? No. I talked about Man Bear Pig for, like, fucking 20 minutes. Was... Oh, my God. It was so... Because South Park... Uh-huh. They... <laughs> do you know Man Bear Pig? Yeah. They use Al Gore's stance on climate change as a metaphor for Man Bear Pig. Man Al Gore was running for president in 2000. He was like, guys, climate change is real. Like, we're all gonna die. Like, we, it's bad. And everyone was like, oh, Al Gore, you big silly. Like, shut the hell up. We're not gonna die, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> and then they did an update. They made fun of him. He's like, guys, Man Bear Pig is gonna kill us. Yeah. And they're like, Al Gore, you're an idiot. It's not real. And he's like, look at all these videos and sightings. And, blah, blah, blah. and they're like, shut up. Yeah. And he's like, oh. No one's listening to me. Ah, but I'm super ethereal. And then, um, he's like, he's like, then in 2018, they're like, ah, uh, he's like, he comes back and he's like, guys, look, man, my prank. It's like actually killing people and like it's in front of you. And everyone's like, it's not scientifically proven. And then they're like, he's like, yes, it is. It's right here in front of you. And then, like, they did this scene where the guy's in the restaurant and Man Bear Pig is behind them killing people and his wife's like honey i think it's real it's right there it's killing people he's like oh so now you're believing them into the the propaganda oh i see i see cheryl <laughs> and he's and then he's like she's like no he's like he's like 
So what do you want us to do about it now, huh? What, what could we have done about it before? And then, <laughs> and then he dies. And he gets killed by climate. He gets killed by man bear pig. gets killed by climate change. He's like, well, what could we have done, you know? Oh it's inevitable. That's like, that's the mindset of how a people... Oh my god. It's fucking that ridiculous. Is so funny. Isn't it funny? They they oh they're so god. clever. I love the South they Park really writers. Are. They're so clever. I fucking love them. Best satire ever. But yeah, basically like we're all gonna So so basically where that came where that stemmed from is probably in like in like ten years, scientists are gonna be like, look at these like actual deaths in Arizona because of like overheat. And like New Mexico and like close to the equator because the earth is literally heating up and then people are gonna be like Oh death? No way. Nah death. People dying? Okay. Death. Alright, alright, alright. There's gonna be death. Death. And people are gonna be like it's Arizona. It's not someone from like across the world is gonna be like, nah, if it's Arizona then it's not gonna matter that much. Like what the fuck? <laughs> it's just like, Ari- what someone's gonna say. It's like Arizona is always hot. It's Arizona, hot. oh yeah, it's, gonna, it's a fucking desert. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah, I guess you. It's a fucking desert. You chose to live in a desert. You deserve to die. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. It's absurd. Strange yeah. times. Strange times. We are living. That's Joe in Rogan's. Uh, that's the name of his comedy special on Netflix. Strange times. I haven't seen that yet. Neither have I. I watched like five minutes and I was like. I'm not into this. Oh, really? <laughs> He's funny. He's a funny guy. He is. He, he His comedy is very funny. Mm-hmm. He does some funny bits. But, like, watching it for an hour, I was like, I don't have time for this right now. Mm. I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> but, yeah, strange times. The world's gonna end and we're all gonna die. In 12 years. Well, not in 12 years. In 12 years, it'll be irreversible. And it'll just get oh, shit. In there. Well, I'll just be like, oh, Wait a minute. Shit. How old is that? How Wait old a minute. Now? Like, Wait a minute, guys. As we're approaching this 12-year mark, mm-hmm. and we're like, okay, it's about to be irreversible, it's nothing's going to get done. Because they're like, oh, well, we have like 20 so much- more years till we actually die. Guess what? We're going to be dead. Fuck you guys. That's why we need we need a young face. I, I like Andrew Yang a lot as a presidential candidate. He's, he's got some one, great ideas. He's the one that's like universal, universal basic income. income. Fucking love that guy. That's really I think that's a great idea. People interpret that really the People wrong are like, way. You People think we're idiots. living in a fucking free handout country? Yeah. My tax dollars are not gonna go and he's like <clears throat> He's like guys. <laughs> He's like, guys. Exactly that. He's like, uh, uh, guys, it's not, it's not communist socialism, okay? I'm just gonna, like, tax Wall Street a little bit, because those guys are rich as fuck. And I'm gonna use that money and try to better society and change the core of America. Isn't it crazy that the people that are like, I don't want to... And they're like, I don't want to try it, it's too different. People that are fucking broke and need those handouts. Like, damn. Oh, if okay. we If we do that, that would help so many Americans. It's crazy. 12,000 bucks a year. That's crazy. That pays for your fucking house. Unless you're in San Francisco, in which that pays for none of your... It pays for the pays bathroom for of your house. <laughs> it pays for the bathroom of your house. Uh, but no, nah, not really, though. If... You get three people, three roommates, in a oh, fucking... It's expensive to live in San Francisco, okay. though. San Francisco is the extreme of yeah, this scenario. Yeah, not even think of I'm it. I'm talking about, yeah, fuck, I don't know, blah, whatever. <laughs> blah. <laughs> Why the fuck is San Francisco so expensive to live? Like, what? Bullshit. It's not bullshit. It's probably, like, the best city ever. Is it like, that long, though? That what? For, like... That much, though? Well, we don't know how economy works. Like, we don't know why certain places are much more expensive. Well, we know San Francisco is more expensive because it's a very desirable, touristy place, you know? Mm-hmm. And they, if people are going to willing to pay that much... That's true. Like, it's about supply and demand. It goes back to supply and demand. Are you guys in econ? No, but supply government. and demand, yeah. Are you in econ? No, government. Boys, I took econ in three weeks over the summer. I know everything there is to know about the economy now. Um, if you have a, a big supply 
uh, or a big demand to live in San Francisco, and people will pay that demand. Yeah. It's going to be Whoop. more expensive. Whoop. That's why. That's why. Yeah. That's why it's so expensive. Even if you're paying for a fucking box. It's a good box. Good ass. It's, <laughs> it's a it's a well placed box. <laughs> it's a very well placed box. Riley, explain to me why you want to live in San Francisco. Go. Um. Cause it's a very diverse place. Probably one of the most diverse in the world. And I don't know. It's just such a like its own. It's its own world. And I like it a lot. Mm. And I want to experience it's on, like, it. I, I mean, it does. Yeah, perspective. Like I've only like been there like. N- I mean, I've been there a lot, but not mm-hmm. enough to like be like I know San Francisco like the back of my hand, and right. I want to get to that point. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Though. I don't want to kill my love for it by living in it. But isn't that crazy that there are people that are like I know San Francisco like the back of my hand, like I know this. My grandpa's thing. like that. That he is lived, so. I. He lived there for like his whole life. That's he grew up so there. wild. I aspire he knows to be like everything. That. He knows every street where they go. It's not like he's gonna hang around every street. Right. But he knows how to get anywhere. That's sick. He knows the like... good spots. He took me to this diner. He took Riley and I to this diner. It's called Tommy's Joint. Oh, when we went and toured USF. We toured USF and we had lunch. Is that where you guys want to go? Low key. Mm. Cool. It's really, it's like, it's expensive though. Yeah. But like, it's not, and, and it's not like more than it would be good like any other college, you know? Yeah. And it's a really good school. Like those Jesuits, they know how to teach. Mm-hmm. That's like their whole purpose in life is to teach mm-hmm. the Jesuits. They're mm-hmm. a form of Catholicism, mm-hmm. and they're like, yo, yeah. we need to teach. Like pass on knowledge and shit like that. It's Bro. crazy. I want, I want what Mr. Quick has. Mr. Quick will not go on my podcast because he gets really uncomfortable of being recorded. Yeah. And I'm sad about it because I want to record his experience with his Buddhist monks. Because that is fucking crazy. Mr. Hodges also has a, um, some sort of Zen teacher, Buddhist person. Yeah. Does he actually? I miss T.I. Riley, tell me. About it. Sick. Talk about Mr. Hodges' Buddhist Zen man. Well, I don't, I haven't, like, talked, he's, I've heard him mention it before, but I've never really, like, asked him about it. about it. He, he, like, he would, like, have, in A-Push, we'd have tests, and he'd, um, have us all meditate before, like, three minutes. Yeah. And one day, someone was like, why the fuck are we meditating? Obviously, they didn't say why the fuck are we meditating. Yeah, they're like, why are we meditating? meditating? And he, like, went into depth of, like, how it concentrates and, like, brings in inner peace with your soul. And, like, the confidence that you'll have knowing if you know the information or not will all come from the fact if you were able to just be one with yourself. And I was like, what the fuck is this man on? Holy shit, and that's so, so fucking so cool. I asked him after class with a Holy friend. Holy shit, that's no, so cool. And that's, like, the coolest shit on that's the planet. That's so dude's sick. Like 70 plus years old. No, he's not. He's old. No, he's not. He's, like, 50. No, he's no, not. He's, he's not. He's, like, late 60s, early 60s. He's so cute. <laughs> Just sweet old man. He is. He's so precious. Oh, I love him. Yeah, he's a, he's the fucking god. I love Mr. Hodge. You literally can't go wrong taking a push. You can't. You cannot. I mean, anybody at Cal High listening to this, that's probably not anybody that is a junior or a sophomore or a freshman. Well, juniors can't choose because they've already choose their class. But freshmen and sophomores, I know you're not listening. But check out Mr. Bristol and Mr. Hodges. They're great. It's true, they are. They're bomb ass dudes. Yes. Alright, guys. Let's find a way to wrap this up. We've been going for an hour and five. An hour and three. Hour and three. It's been an hour? Yeah. Podcasts go quick. Time flies when you're having fun. We didn't fun. even talk about climate change that much. Yeah, we did. We did a good chunk of it, I guess. Good chunk. Good chunk. Good chunk. It was interesting. It was a good, interesting topic to talk about. I enjoyed my experience with that um, strike. I encourage yes. any other person that thinks about Stand going... Stand up for what you think is right. Yeah. Don't have so, fear. Yeah. That's true. Yes. Skipping school ain't nothing. Skipping school is not the purpose. Skipping... The government telling us to go to school is the purpose. <laughs> it's about 
bashing authority. Oh my god. That's all true. it comes down to. Fuck the authority to tell us to do this when they won't do what we're telling them to do. It's a two-way street. Democracy is a two-way street. More like a seven-way street. Because federalism is lit. I'm learning all about federalism in AP Go right now. Oh. It's all cool and stuff. Do you learn about federalism? Mm -hmm. It's federalism awesome. Is sick, yeah. It's sweet, dude. It's actually not. The founders really fucking hated giving people rights. It's true. Jesus Christ. They were like, Bill of Rights, go fuck yourself. <laughs> More like Bill of your mom. And they were like, no. And then they were like, they were like, we can't, ha we can't give the citizens freedom of speech. We need to ban them. Like, guys. The First Amendment is bullshit. People, ugh, people talk about like how like firm we need to be on the first, the Second Amendment, but we treat the fucking First Amendment like it's a, like it's a fucking, um, like it's a fucking Uber driver. We're just like, we're just like, go, we're, we we go along with it when it needs to bring us to up someplace. We, we, we ride with the First Amendment when it needs needs it helps us get somewhere. But as soon as it does something wrong that makes us unhappy, we're like, one star, get the fuck out. We need to change this. And then they get mad at Lyft. When really, it's not Lyft's fault. It's Lyft's fault that they are letting these people be in power. Bro, what the... Did you understand that analogy? I got you on the first half. You because lost me. the driver is the president and Congress. America is Lyft. Do you get it? Do you get it now? It makes perfect sense. Do you get it, Riley? Sort of. What doesn't make sense? Okay, because get this. The Alien and Sedition Acts. The Alien and Sedition Acts were like, Yo, guys, you can't slander the president anymore or we'll fucking arrest you. Oh. <laughs> like, yeah. the freedom of speech is not free. That's true. Go, Riley. What doesn't make sense about my beautiful analogy? I didn't say it didn't make sense. Okay, I'm you said it kind of made sense. So I, tell me what doesn't make sense about I, it. I mean, we are in an Uber that is called Life. And the driver is the president. Okay. And if the driver... Oh, no, the driver is the Bill of Rights. The driver is the Bill of Rights. So, if the driver is doing something really nice, like letting us have our guns, <laughs> we're like, you're dope. You're a great Uber driver. Five stars. But as soon as the Uber driver does one thing, that, that, that Bill of Rights is like, well, here's one thing. That I'm doing wrong, then we 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 in the back seat freak out. We're like, get me out, pull over. Okay, sure. Okay, I got you. Thank you, Celia. I got you. You Bye. intellectual. <laughs> <laughs> not to say that you're not an intellectual, Riley. <laughs> You're just not on my way right now. You're more of an intellectual okay. for not understanding what the fuck that was. <laughs> so, Celia, explain. Explain what I'm saying. Jesus. I literally, I, I understand the basic idea. That you're, it's like you like something until it doesn't do what you want it to do. And yes. then all of a sudden it's a terrible fucking thing. And then it goes back to doing what you like to do. And it's like, ah, it's great. And then it's like, you're just a flip-flop. That's it. Yep, we can't flip up on our Uber drivers. We can't put them on silent mode. Doesn't work like that, hey, you fucking assholes. Can you imagine that, that? Is that a thing now? You can actually order an Uber and put it on the silent mode and tell your driver not to talk to you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, that's a thing. That's, that's a, so sad. That's a real thing. No, I'm not kidding. That's terrible. That's dehumanizing them. They're that's basically crazy. robots. No, sorry, you can't talk to me. Drive. Damn. That's a real thing. I'm that's not kidding. so shitty. Right? Okay. Uh, Alright, we're gonna end it on that note. If you fucking use silent mode on your Uber, even if you want to fucking, like, sleep, just use your words like a normal fucking human being and talk and not just flip a switch on your phone, you douchebag. God. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna end it here. You guys got any final remarks? Fuck silent mode. Fuck silent mode. That goes for life. Speak your voice. Oh shit, that was Whoa! an epic transition. Whoa. Full circle, baby. Wow. This is Dean, Celia, Riley, and Cameron. Signing out. Oh.